So now you know how to indicate or mark those hidden assessments. We're going to show you in this video what's a um, more effective way of managing this because I know it can get a little bit tedious or it looks a little bit harder than it needs to be. So I'm back in the um, West Auckland, the office course page. So I tuck it in. Now generally, so as we said in the last video, um, you need to scroll this way to see who's achieved what. Now again, th that can be a lot, it could be draggy, especially if you've got like 80 students, so th there's got to be a simpler way of doing it. So that's what I'm going to show you here. How do you track that? So what we can do is if, if you go to export and then Excel spreadsheet, what we're going to do is we're going to export all the data that we need without all of these bits and bobs are getting in the way. So what we're going to look at is this section here. So this section here is the booster ones. So with the grades that are showing in Fresh E and Booster um, to indicate whether it's been uploaded to Booster or not. Now it's important that you do this, otherwise you're going to lose track of um, students you haven't put it in Booster yet. Um, and they can make things quite hard to manage later down the track when you notice more students are completing the task and you don't know whether or not who's you don't know whose results are in booster or not. So we're gonna extract the report and we want this information here to indicate are they in booster or not. And if you scroll down, um you'll see here that there's another one called unit standard one two three. Now what's different here is where it says V which means version, uh, that's the one that's in reference to whether it's loaded in Booster, and where it's just got the unit number, that's the actual marking of the assessment in Fresh E. So we're ticking unit standard 123, unit standard 112, unit standard 121, unit standard 11815, Unit standard one one eight one six. Those are the those are the units that we're referencing to, and then drop down box where it says export format options. Now we only wanted a letter, and the reason why we wanted a letter is we want it to tell us whether it's competent or not. And I'm not going to include suspended users because suspended users could include students who are IWD, and we don't need to worry about too much about the feedback. So all we want is just the grades of what we've ticked and we want it in letter form. So I'm going to click on download on Fresh E. And here you go, it's downloaded and it's about to open. Um, it's opened on my other screen so I'm dragging that over here. Okay so right now it looks a little bit messy so we're going to clean this up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to drag these out. I'm not too concerned about this ID number because it doesn't indicate the actual student's ID number. But what I might do is I'll keep the email because the email has the ID number in it. We don't want that. And this is our Excel spreadsheet. Now, if I can remember correctly, I want to wrap the text. Okay. I don't want the last download date. And let's explain that a little bit. Alright. I've expanded a little bit too much, so I'm going to bring that in a bit. Or oh, I might even just zoom out. Okay. So anything that's here to here. So notice the Vs. Those are the fresh E. That's, sorry, that's the um, booster. And then I might color code that to make it a little bit easier for me to understand. And here to here is the actual marks. Now, if you want to work one assessment at a time, you can do it that way. Um, another way you might want to do this is keep just this one spreadsheet to help you with it. And so, if it's competent here, but it's not competent here, then you need to put it in Booster. 
So if I'm looking here, um, crystal's got all four competent and all four are graded. And so what we ideally want to look for here is anything that's competent here. So for example, here. So Moan is competent here in her 112, but that hasn't been uploaded into Booster. So we've got 112 here. So it's not showing as competent. But she's also competent in her 11815 and 11816. So let's have a look here. Also not in the system. So what you can do is there's two ways that you can do this or make it more your time more efficient with uploading the grades. Um, have a look at everyone that's on 123. So maybe do one unit at a time. So if I go and hide these columns for one, two, three, and marry things up. So here, my test, well, obviously my test wouldn't have any grades, but if, if let's say that I was an actual student, then that will tell me that I need to do my um, one, two, three. So let's unhide everything. So we've done one, two, three. And for me, I might just delete it because I've already done it. And then unhide there. Then we look at 112. So you've got 112 here. So let's hide that and just show 112. And if you know the a faster way, do share it off the team or post it up here on, on the um, this fresh e-course page so that you can help your colleagues. So here, 112 Zamone has passed. So already you've got, I might even write a list here. So Zamone, a list to, I might write my list to tell me who needs to be uploaded. So Zamone, and then I'll go, I'll probably put that at the end here because if I unhide it. So Zamone needs to have her 123 updated. Let's, uh, um, or even for one, two, three, I might just go this way instead. So for one, two, three, I need to load her. I need to load Lissa. And I need to load Simone. So that's my one, two, that's my one, one, two, actually, sorry. One, one, two. So 112, there's this, um, so Sione is obviously, he's got credits to load on the system, but they haven't been put on. So this is probably good news for him, and I'm sure he'll be happy to hear. Um, and hide. And let's have a look at our next one, 11816. So let's hide that. So we've got 11816, let's see who's competent in there. So you've got Rosita, she's got hers in the system. I've got, I'm not relevant. Simone has passed her 11816, so we put her in here. And that concludes the 11816, so we'll delete that. And we've done that, and then unhide. So let's do 11815. Okay, so 11815, you've got Putzel, me, again, not relevant, and Simone. Put Simone in there. And we've got one more left to do. Um, I want to finish this off to send off to... Um, to email through to Sione so he knows. So if this is boring you, feel free to skip here ahead a few seconds on our last one, our one, 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 two, one. So one, two, one. And no one for one, two, one. So nothing there. <laughs> so what you can do is you can do this with your, um, your students, like how we've done it here. And so all you have to do now and what this tells us is I would go into the 112 booster upgrades here and print out several copies. So let's pretend that you have maybe 10 students or 6 students who pass 112. Then what you can actually do here when you go to greater report, 
which is grade book is you can go to the booster results here and we're going to go ahead to 112 view all submissions and then just in so fill out your assessor's attestation so putzo we'll go to putzo and where you'll see the um attestation that you need to print off if say you had 10 students here or 20 instead of going one by one and typing this in you could just print 10 copies of this one sheet and write on it and after you've written on it and archived it just for those 10 students all you have to do after that after you've signed those assessment schedules and loaded in a booster is click yes and that'll help you manage who's been put into the system and who hasn't so I, I would even go as far as doing these clicks so that when I print this out, the ticks are already there to save you from having to tick all the time. Um, maybe even put in your assessor's comments and then print out 10 copies, sign the signature and sign the student's details at the top. Um, and that will get you through this much, much faster. So that's how, um, that's a strategy on how you can get this done. If you have any questions, feel free to um, fire through some emails, even collaborate with your colleagues.